All right, guys, welcome back to some more Ghost Recon Breakpoint. Again, along with this, the previous episode, my guy looks insane today. My fashion sense is impeccable. Can we just get that straight? Can we get that clear? Can we all agree? Thank you very much. Now, today's episode is another DMR video. We're going to be checking out the G28 Wilderness. Now, we've checked out the G28, the standard one. We've also checked out the G28 Quiet. I think it's the Quiet. I'm not too sure. The Quiet? No, it was the Scorpio Scout Quiet. So the G28... Oh, the G28 Wolves Edition. That's what we tried out. Both of them were okay. They weren't the best, I'll be honest. They were a bit hit and miss with uh, damage and, and whatnot. But Fire Rate was always a good one. This weapon should be interesting. It's got very decent range uh, as standard. Obviously, we've got that bipod on it, so that should allow us a bit extra range. It's a starred weapon, though, so we don't get really variables. We just get plus 20 damage while in prone camo. But prone camo is so awkward to use that I don't even know if I'm going to be doing that. So that's going to be an interesting one. You can't get an extended magazine on it. You can put a suppressor on it, moldy A I've got there, T5XI sight for the long range, and then we'll just switch into third person. We want to do shorter range to mid range. And then we've also got the bipod, like I said, for that extended range. But mainly the gun looks insane. Now, I would normally have gone for like the ghillie suit kind of clothing to match the gun, but the ghillie suits look ridiculous in this game. Like the movement of it just doesn't make sense. So I didn't. We haven't gone for that. But yeah, this is the weapon we're going to be using in this episode, guys. We're going to have a good time. We've got some faction missions to clear out. And then just a few people to kill, a few camps to take on, and uh, have a good time, basically. But if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the like button. Let's aim for a thousand likes on this video. Subscribe if you are new, and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss future uploads. Or alternatively, you can become a member. That'll be fun. Or just go into the description down below and follow me on my Instagram and Twitter. The links are both down there for those, and Discord, and the merch site. Other than that, though, let's head over to this first mission. We've got locating servers, locating trucks, and locating trucks. A whole host of, well, the same thing. Hello, fellas. He's dead. Did his mate see? Okay. Damage is instantly already better on this. The description of the gun actually said that damage wasn't as high. Or maybe... Something, I think it said damage wasn't as high, but this damage is way better than any of the previous G28s that I've used so far. This is instantly a good choice. There you go, that's the hit that we wanted. That's a hit in his body. They're wolves though, so don't worry about a body shot not killing him. This is looking good so far. Alright, let's move carefully down into this forest here, because we know there's at least two wolves that want us. And maybe, if this is a camp up ahead, anyone that was involved in that camp could be coming after us as well. Got you, sir. He's out. Thank Jeebus for that. Alright, it's not a camp, so that's alright. That's a positive, but we do need to find this other person. Also, I've finally got syringes back, medical syringes, so we should be okay there. There's a helicopter coming in now. I want to take the helicopter on, but I'd rather find this other wolf first. Alright. Looks like we're not going to get what we want. Let's just head into this building here. Take some cover this way. Oh, they're mad. Oh. There he is. That's him dealt with. Now, where's the chopper? Oh, there. That makes sense. I feel like this is going to destroy that chopper quite quick. There's three shots. Four. Five. I'm not going to use one of these. I'm just going to stay hidden for a second. Five shots on it so far. Six. Seven. Eight. Okay. Looks like I am using one of these. Damn. Every single enemy has gotten more intense. Not a complaint. But it has. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 17 shots. I mean, that's not too bad. It's not sniper level where you can shoot one of those down within, like, literally two shots, but it's all right. We'll take it. Okay, we need to go get this intel here, and that's going to lead us to where we need to go. Two of the missions we're doing today are elite, so we would normally get a load more battle points, but I'm just hoping for more money, basically, in this. 
Right. We know where the servers are. Let's hope they're at a camp that we can go and uh, eradicate. Shall we say. Ah, oh, it's up there. Juicy. Well, I guess we've got a car here. Let's go. Start with the servers. Come on, car. You've got this. You've got this. There you go. Ooh, all right, we made it. We've made it. Now, we've done this base quite a lot recently, but I have to say it is a really fun one. I love it being at the very top of a nice snowy mountain. It makes for some interesting scenery. Let's uh, stay quiet doing this. There's one. Beautiful. Few bad shots in there, but fucking hell. Just, it's my, it's it's nearly impossible to stay stealthy at the moment. And I, I wouldn't even say it's my own fault. Like, people are so quick to see you. Oh. Oh. All right, let's just take it, take our time with this. We know that damage on this thing is, <coughs> sorry, pardon me. We know that damage on this thing is absolutely hey, hey, amazing. <coughs> Sorry about that. Ah, uh, nice. All right, let's do this thing. We'll do our stealth in a bit. I mentioned in the previous episode as well when we were checking out the M4A1 tactical. By the way, go and watch that video. But I mentioned that I wanted to do a sort of one of the situations where you're in a woods or in the forest. You're backed up against a tree and you're just sort of taking everybody out. Beautiful. Uh, I really want to do that with this because I think this is definitely going to be a good weapon for that. So that will be one of our things that we're going to get done. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. Okay. Oh, so awkward to get that other shot off. All right, we're good. And stand up. Guy wouldn't stand up for some reason. I don't at all. I'm not enjoying this. The weapon itself is amazing, but I'm playing like an ass. Hat. There you go. There you go. Oh. Oh. God damn. Okay, I'm gonna calm this whole thing down now. The whole thing. It's, it's we're relaxing. I'm gonna take it a bit easier. I've been rushing around a bit too much here. Don't worry. We'll get our mojo back. Servers out. That's that completed. Okay. Now we take it down a notch. We smooth it all out. We get going where we want to go. I'm going to take the chopper and fly to wherever we need to go next. At least that way, we'll be able to get a good look at what we're going down on. <laughs> Before we go down on it. <laughs> Sorry. That was still nice, the speed with which we did that. I just took way too many hits. It's kind of embarrassing. That's all. Also, I really want to try this. Sorry, I'm going to die. I could tell. But I want to fly through... This here hole. Okay. Okay. Yes! It worked! I'm a genius. Oh, mate. Now we're talking. So that down there is a huge base. A huge base. But firstly, we've got something on top of this mountain. Either way, it's two trucks. Maybe one of them's to be destroyed. One of them's maybe to do something else. One of them, like I said, is a faction mission. Oh. Both of them we need to get intel about. So I've... Oh, that's one of the hardest bases as well. Okay, this is going to be interesting. I will try and snipe a load of people out of that one. That could be a, a good laugh. We know the damage is good on this thing, like I've said multiple times now. So I'm not worried about shooting from a distance and the bullets not doing their jobs. Maybe we'll find out that, you know, we can't shoot from a distance. Because maybe damage will drop off a bit too much. But so far, I have high hopes for this thing, to be honest with you. All right, we've found out where that truck is. Let's get the intel for both of the trucks, though, before we actually move on and do anything. Let me just get this so I can sell it later on. Okay. Another chopper. Oh. 
I don't want to deal with them. I do not want to deal with them. Thank you very much. No thank you. No thank you at all. Uh, that mountain might be best. I don't think I can see anybody from the distance that I'm at right now. Can I? Really? Not a single puzz? Six, 600 meters. Is that like the, is that like the peak of which, of this, oh no. That's about the distance we can see. I don't know how far he is, but. Dropped just before. Damn it. Oh, it killed him. That's a bit too far because there's a lot of sort of things you need to worry about. Oh, that's a kill as well. He had information though. That guy's got information right there. Let me... I've got a plan here. I'm going to take my chopper up. I'm going to try and get in there and interrogate him. I do want to take out the whole camp. Yes. But if I could just figure out where this is without anybody seeing me first... Then I'll feel a lot better about doing it that way. So we will take this base on, don't worry. But I'm going to try and get in here. Interrogate the, this guy. Find out what he knows. Can I get in this side if I land here? Sort of. Uh, I'd rather just land here though if we can. This helicopter's tiny compared to that one. There you go. Yes. We have landed inside of this enemy base. Hello, sir. Sorry about that. It was me that shot you from a mile away. I hope you know this and remember it forever. Okay. And give me your intel right now. Right now. Tell me everything. Thank you very much. I've already told you everything I know. Good. I don't know anymore. Good boy. Good night. Okay, now... Now, let me just see if I can find a vantage point to shoot people off. I'm thinking maybe the roof. It's a nice roof. It's a solid roof. And there's ways for us to get everywhere by going to this roof, so... That's fine. Don't mind one guy seeing me. Is it a guy on the roof? Yes, it was. Okay, he's out. Don't worry, we'll lose everybody in a second. I just need to take the drone out first. And then we can go quietly with it. If... Ah, uh, may have done goof to landing where I am here. That's a tricky one. Okay. That's a fucking mad one. What the hell? <laughs> what? All right. Just thought I'd parachute down. So at least that way. Are you serious? Mate, I'm I, I I'm sorry. I'm not touching that place. It's cursed. It's actually cursed. I, every time I've gone there, I've had a nasty time. I could put this game in probably arcade mode, and I'd still probably have a nasty time in that base. It is horrifying. Absolutely horrifying. I will, however, while I'm not actually going to do the camp itself, use it for a bit of target practice. There's a kill. There's another kill. Oh, did you see it just drop like a... Dead dog. Beautiful. Uh, he's flown off like a jackrabbit. That's kind of cool. I'll, I'll try and snipe here until it gets a bit too crazy. Once it gets a bit too crazy, I guess we can abort the old plan. But, as long as people are coming around, it could still be quite a fun one to do here. There's a locked door there. I could... I see you, little guy. You ain't nothing. The only problem is, again, with this game... Not too late there. Everyone just hides. Beautiful shot. Thought it went through the uh, material there, but he still died, so it's not too bad. Where are we looking? Uh-oh. Of course. It's never just a simple day, is it? No, I can never just focus on one thing. What the hell? Beautiful. That was way less shots than it was before to take out. Don't know why, but I won't complain. Let me get back to what I was doing in the first place. Merkin and taking names. Alright, maybe not. Nobody seems game. At all. Not a single person. 
There's not a s uh someone shouting about something. Oh, oh! The f Move fuck in. did you come from, mate? I'm going. I'm going. There's more enemies coming at me from behind than there are coming from this danger base. That's what we're calling it, the danger base. I should back away slowly from that and never return. The oh, there we go. You know I could hear somebody else. Anybody else for that matter? Oh, there you go. That That's going to be man mad. That's a shot. Okay, that third one didn't quite work out, but there is a guy coming after me somewhere. Where? Where? Just over this ridge, I think. Yeah. Any more? I'm trying to figure out where they all came from. I heard one more person talking. Oh. Right there. That's where they've been chilling. Man, I'm actually really liking this. This is the best G28 I've used so far. There is also the G28 uh, Scout, which is available to us now as well. So I will be testing that out in the future too. But uh, I'm just enjoying this for now. I see you down there. Beautiful. That's what we're talking about. Really, really big fan of this. No, I wouldn't necessarily choose it over other stuff. However, it is a G28 that I actually want to use. Or I would be happy using. Uh, which is way more than I could say for the other G28, as I mentioned earlier on. Oh, yeah. Now we're talking. That's not too far that I won't be able to hit him. It also shouldn't be too far that I can't yet get a perfect headshot. With a little bit of aiming in there. Perfect. I'll wait for people to move past. You. That doesn't make sense. See the amount of bullet drop that was on that? Even though the difference in distance from the other guys was minimal. Oh, come on. There you go, there's the hit. Yeah, so down here, I can pretty much aim right at their heads. And then literally just here, I have to aim completely differently. I mean, I guess that's something to do with how elevated we are. And when they're down here, we're sort of shooting down on top of them. Whereas when they're over there, it does change quite a lot. Because, you know, they're further away. We're having to shoot further. So maybe that's what that's all about. Nah, he's going to get away. Come on. Come. Oh, I got hit on him. Way too fast. Never mind. All right, that's the truck. Uh oh. Nope. Get. <sighs> he does not like getting down. Got it. Don't have to worry about that. So don't forget, we got plus 20% uh, damage when we're in prone camo. If I can sort of. Li oh. There you go. Be nice if there was plus 20 range when you're in prone camo as well. Let's take this out. Get the people fearing. Lovely. This guy's running around on the roof. Oh. Okay. There it is. Juicy one. I'm I'm listening out like a hawk just in case anyone decides to run up at me. And try to show me their genitals. Genitals, bitch. Show me your genitals. Your genitalia. Sorry. I think we're good, you know. Well, not good. Everyone's hiding inside. I know that much. But I'm past the point of caring at this point. Sniping isn't as fun as it, it, as it could be in this game. Which is a real shame. Because it's one of the most fun things you can do in this game. I think it, Ghost Recon even tweeted out today about like, Oh, one of the best things you can do is shit in the mountaintops and snipe. Yeah, is it? We'll try rendering your game a bit further so that we can actually do it to a degree where it's fun. And not just cartoony. Thank you. That's a guy there, isn't it? I think so. Oh. He's dipped down. Just trying to see if I could get... No, I can't get a bullet through. But as soon as he pops his head up... There you go. Something popped up there, but I... See that? But I don't know what it is. And I can't... Ugh. No. Oh. Look at that. Leave me alone, please. 
I'm kind of stuck here. This is not a good place to be. Thank the Lord for that. Is there even a sniper? Yeah, I definitely hit somebody. Maybe he went down. Maybe, like, he's ready to be interrogated or something. I'm not too sure. Let's just go and get the truck. Hold on. There you go. Sorry, I just want to get that out. There's also a murmur drone just chilling. Oh. Beautiful. Got it in the end. Oh, no, that is good. He's back. Beauty. Fuel is eight, man. Okay. I'm, I'm a fan. I am. It's not my favorite weapon. I wouldn't pick it over other stuff, but it's a solid choice. And it's a free weapon that everybody has access to now. So I would say scrap the standard G28 and scrap the uh, G28 Wolves as well. Just use this bad boy. It looks better. Well, the, the Wolves one looks kind of cool. But this one looks amazing and its damage is amazing. It's a no-brainer. Now, now, see, now they're coming out. It's, it's, it's absolutely stupid. The AI in this game is, is the most ridiculous thing ever. Ever, ever. So was that shooting, but that's on me. But, like, how can you have an AI in a game that only seems to react when you get close enough? It's the only way I can, I can, I can think that they've programmed it. Because, like, you'll you be out in the mountains ready to snipe, but no one will come out. But then as soon as you get relatively close to the camp itself, all the enemies start freaking out and panicking, and they're running all over the place. Even if they haven't seen you. It's that fact there, even if they haven't seen you. That's how I kind of think that it's, it's just been programmed to be like this. As opposed to it just being, like, an accidental thing. Oh! Mate, you got me good. That was fair enough. So I managed to lose them all. There you go, this is fine. Sorry, not lose them all. I've come back a different way. And we've managed to take out the majority of people relatively well. I always play so much better when I don't speak. I'm going to start speaking a hell of a lot less, which might make a lot of you very happy. Or not. I'm going to stay right here and finish off everybody. Nice. Should probably keep that shoulder inside next time, brother. Apparently his name was Cal. Whew. Right bags. We are good. We are good. Okay. I know I just need to steal the truck. But what would stealing the truck be without having a good time destroying the base first? Don't know if that killed the guy running behind, but that was kind of cool. Almost seemed like I meant to do it, you know? Oh. oh. Okay. That's interesting. So tempted to just take the truck and be gone, but this place has killed me once. I don't want to have to kill die again. Fucking hell! We're good. Ah! It's weird. It seems like the uh, the bullets aren't as powerful when you get closer. They get more powerful when you get further away. Again, is that because... Well, is that in my head for one? Or maybe, I guess, that could be because bullets could pick up velocity, maybe? Or at least pick up, like, power in, in a way? Once The more they've been traveling through the air? I don't know. I would have thought wind would stop the bullets from traveling as fast. But I don't know. I don't know how things work. Maybe you could tell me. All right, I'm going to take this truck... This place has been nasty to me. If I can, that is. I feel like I'm being chased right now. You can smoke me. Like a nice fried salmon. 
This stupid robot was in my way. Going, going, getting the freaking hell out of here right now. Annoyingly, though, I have to drive through this entire camp. Or at least, oh no, the outside of it. Hold on. See what I spot all the way over that way. Wolves. Okay. That's a shot. That's a kill. Ah, that's a beautiful one. Yes. Redeemed myself for the death. You're welcome, my friends. All right, let's go and deliver this truck, and then we just got to go and find one more truck somewhere. Deliver it, destroy it, whatever we have to do. That will be that. And that will have been the showcase of this gun. I'm, I mean... I, a lot of people are joking around these days because I've done so many episodes of this. Like, every gun being my favorite gun. I get that entirely. I have said so many times that, like, oh, it's my favorite gun. So I'm not going to say that because it's not my favorite gun. But it's damn good. Because I really didn't want to bother using it because I've hated the G28s that I've used in the past. But this has just pleasantly given me feelings that I didn't feel like I could have for the G28. So, good job, gun. Good job. Oh, are you about to spurt? Hmm? It's gonna spurt. And... Uh... <laughs> Took your time there, you kind of ruined my joke, but it's okay. <laughs> Alright, last place. We'll do what we've done in every other place just because it is a DMR this way we get the best of both worlds we'll start out doing some Wesleys alright just why he struggles so much to prone these days I don't know I really don't know but it's, it's okay right can you no pro oh yeah you can prone camo good just for that potential extra damage oh that's annoying that is annoying can you prone camo here otherwise I can't look down far enough there you go. Now we can. Fuck. Didn't mean to blow him up. That was his slight movement. And now everyone's going to run and hide, aren't they? Oh. Got him. Got him. And you. Got two mo uh, two of the turret. Uh, sorry, tank drones. Got it. Which is nice. I wanted some of these before, but we got murmurs instead. Oh. That should have killed you. Okay. This is amazing. They don't know where we are. Or it doesn't know where we are, shall we say. But I've had no enemies shooting at me yet either. So that's the truck, I'm going to guess. Yep. Uh, you. Oh, son of a... It's lost his damage for some reason. Got him eventually. This is coming for me. Come on, man. You know what? Can I take the suppress? Yes, I can take the suppress. Off. We may as well at this point. Oh, it sounds it sounds filthy. Oh, come on, man. Just blow up. Okay, hold on, actually. Probably should have used these a long time ago. There you go. Maybe one should destroy this. T two of them. And then that's that in there. Gonna take a time out of my life. Please be worth it. In the end, it's not gonna be worth it, is it? There's a guy running. Oh. Yeah, bullets take a long time to try. Whoa. There you go. A long time to get to where they're supposed to be, which is upsetting. Makes me like a bad sniper. This is ridiculous. This is actually ridiculous. Suck on this, mate. Or not. Is there anything you want to suckle on? Like anything at all. Maybe this. Maybe an RPG. How about them apples, huh? Yeah? You want some of that? You're still alive? Oh, for Pete's sake. Thanks. About time, huh? About time. Got to kill again. Annoyingly. I think everyone's in this building. It's seeming like it. All right. Now we can push it. That was nicely done, though. I'll, I'll give myself that. For some reason, they didn't really want to look up here. 
They couldn't figure out where we were. We didn't get spotted or nearly spotted once. It's pretty nice. But watch, right? I'm going to try and slowly get closer here. And you should slowly just start seeing enemy movement. That wasn't happening before while I was up on the mountaintop. Or they're all dead. That's also a possibility. Let me just ping this in there. Okay. Uh, they're all dead. They're all dead. There's nobody here. <laughs> I'm too good for my own boots. That's not the saying, is it? I'm too big for my own boots. No, I'm too good for this, this world. This planet. That's a joke. Oh, divine forces, please don't take me out of this world for pretending I'm too good for it. I love it. Thank you. Okay, anyway, we got the truck. Where are we taking it? Not too far, about a kilometer that way. Not too shabby. So yeah, guys, I've obviously delegated my... F no, not delegated. I've uh, described my thoughts on this weapon throughout the episode, as I always do. But it's definitely worth checking out. And considering it's free now for everybody, like, it's a no-brainer. Check it out. But I will say, if you check this out and you haven't checked out the Scorpio Scout or the Scorpio Scout Quiet, try and check out each of those, because they're also new for anyone that didn't do the uh, sort of battle rewards in Season 1 or Season 2. Bye, suckers. Um, so yeah, check out both, because you'll see why. And then maybe check out the standard G28 as well, if you haven't already, because you'll see why I really wasn't thinking this one would be good, and but why I'm also pleasantly surprised that it is. Pleasantly, pleasantly surprised that it is. But yeah, guys, I'm going to leave this video right here. Thanks so much for watching. Parked. Delightful. <sighs> Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to leave a like rating. Subscribe if you're new. Or become a member if you want to. But mainly, hit that notification bell. So, so you don't miss future vid videos from me. I upload twice a day. YouTube doesn't like it when people upload more than once a day. It doesn't really like it if you upload once a day anyway. Unless you're a big creator. Then it will push out all the videos. But if you're small... Like me in the grand scheme of things. Uh, basically, just turn on the notification bell so that you actually get notified of all the uploads I do. Not just some of them. Okay. Good deal. Thanks for watching, guys. Terrible shooting. I love you. And uh, make sure you follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Always follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Oh my god, let me just finish this thing. Oh, oh. Uh, no. Yeah, follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Check out the merch store. Link in the description down below, along with my Twitter and Instagram link. Got him. That's it. That's what this is all about. And yeah, other than that. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, ah. Uh, ah. Uh, I'll see you in the next one, my friends. Goodbye, and get me the hell out of here. I'm not dying again. No way, man. No way. Oh, fuck off. <laughs>